can we like really stop doing this? Like the other day was literally people just spoiling the games. I talked about how people are spoiling the games. People still want to spoil Marvel Spider-Man 2. And now we're at this. <laughs> we've gotten to this point. Why did I see something like this coming? Why am I not surprised? And if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, it's this right over here. This is Brian Intar's tweet. And he tweeted and said, PSA, finding and using a developer's personal private information to contact them. I don't know how they did that. For any early copies of the game is inappropriate, creepy, and will get you exact opposite results. Please don't do this. Thank you. Now, I don't really need to explain further as to what Brian Intar is trying to say, but I'm going to anyways because some people are just a bunch of clods. First off, the fact that you believe that you're going to get yourself a copy of Marvel Spider-Man 2, an early copy of Marvel Spider-Man 2, because you decide to go out of your way to go and find their contact information and reach out to them personally is disgusting behavior, first off. And you are a fool. It is a one in a million chance if you really think like that you're going to be getting a copy of Marvel Spider-Man 2, an early copy of the game, if you go on and message any of the developers. It's one thing to message the developers on Twitter, you know, a public platform where everybody in the world can actually log into and see. And it's another thing to go and pry after someone's personal information just to go out and reach to reach out to them. We're not talking about just like their phone number. We're talking about the address their uh, maybe their personal email address, their phone numbers. Who knows? Maybe their social security number can be right there on the on the web for everybody to see. That is disgusting the fact that people are going out out of the way and doing this is giving us fans a bad name and that is just abhorrent behavior like oh my god i wouldn't be surprised for insomnia games next game or any developers is next game i like I, i'm not going to be surprised if they decide to like refuse to give out any early copies to any of these people because when desperate troglodytes like this see that there are people out there getting early review codes and copies of a game they decide to think like you know they think that like oh let me go out and find these uh, developers informations and let me go out of my way to message them personally so that way i can get a copy of the game i wouldn't be surprised like i wouldn't be surprised if they decide to just cut the line and say like we're no longer going to do this because it just creates problems there's always that one guy or that group of people that kind of just ruins it for everybody. And because of people out there like this, which I can appreciate that Brian Intar did not call out specifically who it was that reached out to him um, asking for the game. I appreciate that. I, I can really respect Brian for that. Brian seems like a very humble guy. And the fact that people out there are willing to like hack his personal information and get his phone number or something like that is beyond me. Like, I, I can't believe why, why would you want to do that to Brian? I'm not trying to say that, like, it's not right to do it to just Brian. I mean, I am saying it's not right to do it to him. But what I'm trying to say is that, like, of all people, why would you want to do that to him? He seems like such a cool guy. But anyway, this is just gross. Like, you don't do that. Like, <laughs> Like, I'm, I just, this has left me flabbergasted to the point where, like, I'm just, like, laughing about it in a way where it's not funny. But, like, oh, my God. I mean, let's look at some of the replies here. So, same tweet here. Kabu says, yeesh, why are people like this? Uh, Witty says, people are wild individuals. You know, Sun OG 5 VP, he does great photo photos for photo mode, by the way. I will be doing more Spider-Man photo mode. But that's not, it's not about, that's not what I'm talking about here in this video. But I, I forgot to give it a like. Uh, Khalid Brooks, aka the real My life Miles Morales, just you know, posting a picture of like a woman cringing right there. Jesus, man, no way, grown ass man out here doing that. Sorry about this, Brian. And me, like, that's truly disgusting behavior, absolutely creepy. Like, it it's just all like everything that about this is just wrong, man. It is wrong. Don't do this, don't be like that individual that messaged out, like, reached out to Brian Intahar. You know, don't do that. That That is truly disgusting behavior. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this, and uh, that's about it. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, you know, talking about this topic just made me not want to, like, upload a video for a while. Because, like, in some way, a part of me is embarrassed. Because, like, some of these developers, like, Insomnia Games, 
would probably end up believing that we're like this individual who messaged Brian into her. And I wouldn't blame him for believing that, honestly. I really won't. I, like, I'm not going to blame him for that. But I just want to talk about this. And uh, that's pretty much it. You know, like, comment, subscribe. And if you disliked it, dislike the video, if you will. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, later.